Having a high pass accuracy in 2K24 is a complete waste. Here's why. It's pointless. I mean, that, that that's the main, th it is pointless. <laughs> Here's my 94 overall diamond three level threat. This build has a 98 pass accuracy, 90. Eight. I get almost every single passing badge Hall of Fame except for one. The only badge I don't get that's meant for passing Hall of Fame is Bailout. This is the I get Needle Thudder, Dimer, Special Delivery, Touch Pad. I get literally everything except for Bailout Hall of Fame, and it's just overkill. It, it is completely pointless. So I've heard around the community that the higher your pass act, the faster you throw the ball. That's just not true. It's simply not true. You see, I'm still a brown level on this build. I don't even I don't play on this build anymore because it's just pointless. If you're gonna make a build with a high pass act, don't go past. 92 and here's why when you get 92 pass act when you get break start a hall of fame so if you're a center and you're playing rec or pro-am or even threes and you get the rebound that break start hall of fame kicks in you throw bullets down the court it's perfect you get special delivery one having this hall of fame is just overkill when you have it bronze you'll throw a perfect alley-oop every single time i think when it's hall of fame you're able to throw the bounce pass alley-oops they're stupid animations because they get blocked so it's pointless having a hall of fame touch passer is a good badge but i feel like most people don't even do touch passes most people don't even know what touch passes are and it's literally when you throw the ball to your teammate and they throw it right back it speeds up and it definitely like does activate like you can definitely see this like difference in speed of the pass most people don't even do it so don't worry about this badge needle threader this is a badge that quote unquote stuns defenders and it does having it hall of fame and bronze there's no difference i pr there is not a single difference in it and i don't know which 2k lab support whatever one of those channels you know that tests this stuff they said that having it higher you know increases the amount of stuns you get no it doesn't one the badge barely triggers and two, when you have it bronze, it literally triggers just as much as having it Hall of Fame. So this badge is pointless. Don't worry about this badge. Dimer in this game, I mean, people are able to shoot from the other three-point line with the 76 three ball and no takeover. You don't need Dimer at all. You have it bronze, it's perfect. Mine has dropped from Hall of Fame to gold because I was playing the ones court, but it, it's almost another pointless badge. Bailout. This is probably the only badge that is like good throughout all the badges. This and Break Starter, you only need a bronze. At that, you don't even need this badge. I probably do one bailout pass every four games like if you just play smart you're not going to be throwing bailout passes it's not like how it used to be in previous two guys wasting this many attribute points when this high pass act is ju it's just not worth it and i know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this but i'm telling you i've used every single pass style i can't even like figure out which one's better than the other because they're all the same like no no one pass seems faster than the other i'm telling you can watch all the the testers that try this stuff out and they say one is better than the other but i'm telling you they're the same in my opinion i use john Morant just because I started out using it first and I mean it feels the same as Tyrese Halliburton or LaMelo Ball that that's just me I don't know it's straight up pointless like I said do not go higher than 92 on this because when you start going past 92 for your pass act one the badges start becoming useless and two it starts wasting a lot of attribute points let me, let me just show you so look when you make a build I'm just throw together some random build all right let's up the midi let's say I had a 86 midi whatever 83 three ball I don't know just putting like what most people would put further build make it so I can speed boost i get magic johnson all right try to get to 92 all right boom 92 dude there's not much more i can put on this build because once i start going up i'm already at 98 at 95 it stops like it's just pointless because it wastes so many badge points on stuff you can be putting on other stuff like look i literally i can't upgrade anything else other than the free throw like it's it's pointless so yeah don't pass 92 on this regardless what build what position what game mode you play do not go past 92 and so i'm gonna just show some gameplay of me actually using the 98 pass act and i'm gonna show gameplay of the 75 pass act and I want you to tell me which one's which. <laughs> you're not even gonna know. I promise you, you're not. All right, so I have two builds that are slight like this. A 6-7 I made maybe two months ago and this 6-7. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference in this gameplay. All right, so off rip, said threw me the ball. I think we green the shot. Okay, whatever, that's not passing. If you haven't, drop a like and subscribe too. We're not going to 100K, come on, man. Next play, I'm hiding the top so you can't see like the badges that pop up. I really just want y'all to be able to let me know, is this the low pass act or the 98 pass act? So you just seen that pass. It's a very next play i don't know if i will okay so i pass him the ball again okay normal pass right okay i mean i'm just dribbling he's fouling me all right whatever all right so next play i always throw a tap pass in the start because it's a lot faster i throw him the ball boom he gets up a layup all right i mean it's looking like normal gameplay right normal gameplay i haven't stunned anybody yet i mean i haven't done like a ridiculous pass just we're just regularly playing park i throw him the ball he greens it right all right so the very next game i hopped on my other build made the hair the same you won't you can't tell the difference between like which player is which and let me know which pass style or which pass accuracy this build has so i just did a layup right there 
right there. Cool. You're not going to be able to tell the difference whatsoever. In one of the past styles, I was using John Moran, and the other one I was using Tyrese Halliburton. Is that green? Am I green in that? We're green in that. And maybe I'm a little bit biased because I've really only played the twos, but I I mean, I've played threes in the theater. I've played some pro-am games. I throw him the ball. Does he make that? Is he? Yeah, there we go. He made it. I personally see no difference in it whatsoever. So once again, I'm just throwing the tap pass. Um, did I pass? Okay, I passed him the ball. Is he going to make it? Boom, he greened it. I mean, it's looking exactly, exactly the same so far. If you're watching this video and you say, oh yeah, I know exactly which pass accuracy this build is, you're lying. Cause I, I could get confused right now and not even know which one I'm looking at. And I'm the one who's playing. So <laughs> drop in the comments, which, uh, I don't know which build you think this is or which build you think the first video was. You can't tell the difference. I don't know if I did a bailout pass in this gameplay, but I mean, I threw bailout passes while playing. I was throwing steamers. I mean, I was stunning people. There's no difference whatsoever. So really, like I said, bro, if you're not like a big or someone that plays, you know, threes, I'm talking like, I'm not talking about park threes. I'm talking about like stage threes or like competitive threes. If you're not someone who's deep in the game, don't even go past 77 pass act. 92 is really good. And that gets you like everything you need, but 77 is all 75 is all you need all my builds except for you know th this build right here all my builds have 75 or 77 pass act. don't go higher than that i'm telling you you can even go low you can go at a 65 and still throw bullets it it's pointless i was sitting in someone's stream the other day and they were telling me where they were talking to the chat and they were like we're in december of 2023 and people are still making lower than 93 pass act builds i'm like dog i throw bullets with a 75 on my burly build let me hop on my burly build all right so here's my burly build this is my six seven i always use if you've watched my stage gameplay, my streams, I mean, you tell, you can tell that like this build throws bullets if I'm playing with you. And like I said, bro, this build has a 75 pass act. We're at 75. That's perfect for me. And like I said, I play stage. I play good players. It's just my hot take. If you disagree with me, agree with me. Let me know in the comments. For now, it's been your boy GB3, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace.